Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. I am working on the 13th video in my completed handmade card share. Um, it's the cards that I have in my stash that I haven't mailed out to anyone yet. Um, so this is the 13th video um, and we're going to be doing uh, the fall holidays. So Halloween and I think I have one or two Thanksgiving cards in this um, collection. Um, but if you're interested in seeing any of the other videos that I've shared, there is a playlist on my channel for the completed handmade card share. Um, so you'll find uh, cards on Valentine's Day, Easter and spring, um, everything that you see listed here. Um, I have not done Christmas winter yet. Um, but I will get to that one later this week, I think. So uh, please enjoy the fall um, Halloween cards that I'm about to share. And I realized that I've missed Halloween for this year, but I thought I would do this video anyway so that these um, cards would be ready for inspiration for next year. So here's the first card I have to share with you. Um, this was made with a little um, dollar stamp from Michaels that was available years ago. Um, in fact, probably two of them because I think this was a separate sentiment. Um, so I just stamped it on some white cardstock here on this wonky rectangle, which I think is a Spellbinders die. And then I did use the... Um, uh, reinforcer from one of my Impression Obsession dies as a little detail there on the side. So I thought that was cute. And I love this orange and black Halloween ribbon. It's really pretty, I think. Um, this card is finished on the inside. Um, these stamps are from um, a Target little box of um, Halloween stamps that I purchased years ago. Um, and then the back side just has my little <clears throat> handmade by Anna White stamp. Um, this card is made using some Sizzix dies. Um, these are, I think, are Biggs dies. Um, I've had them for years, so that's what makes me think they're Biggs dies. Um, so there's the haunted house, the scary tree, and then um, the ghost. And the sentiment that's stamped in the background for visual interest is um, from my uh, Whippersnapper Designs sets. Um, there's a couple Halloween sets that I did for Whippersnapper. Um, so the sentiment is from one of them, and I think the ghost is from a different one. Um, and then this sentiment as well is um, the same as the one on the front. So you can just read it here. And then these um, die cuts here, I think were from the Stamps of Life. And then on the back, I just put um, another tree. So real cute. <clears throat> this card here was made using one of my Whippersnapper stamps. Um, this is, was a cling mount set, um, and so it came with the witch, and then you had different things that you could use to decorate the witch or your scene. Um, so there's a little broom, and then the little candy pail also is in that set as well. Um, and this card has a really good spritz of um, shimmer. I think I used probably, um, oh, I can't think of what they're called now, those glimmer sprays. Um, I usually have one here on my desk. I can't see it. Um, but I'm sure you've seen them. Um, they're just the little shimmer sprays that we used to use years ago. Um, and this card I ha actually have in a piece of plastic there just to keep it safe. Um, here's a card that I made using um, a couple of different mug dies. I think these mugs, um, I think these are probably from my favorite things. Um, so they have a little whipped cream on top. And then I used a little uh, pumpkin flare button there and some eyelash trim. I think that turned out really cute. And then on the inside, I decorated it um, as well and then stamped trick or treat, which I think is just a dollar stamp. And then the back, so it's handmade for you, little pumpkin. Um, here's another one <clears throat> made, excuse me, <clears throat> made with a, um, a mug with some cream on top. And then I added a fun little spider web there that's from Impression Obsession. And these adorable little pumpkins here too. So on the inside of that one is stamped with Jeepers Creepers. And this was also a dollar stamp as well. Cute little spider web was also one of the little dollar cube stamps. The back side I stamped it with that. Uh, was another one of those little dollar cubes. They came like a set with two, a uh, set of two stamps for a dollar. I'm sure you... If you've been stamping for a long time, you remember them. Um, this is a cute little witch card that I made using a recently released um, witch die for Impression Obsession. I think she is adorable. And I used the little bread um, loaf tag die uh, to create this little tag. And then there was a sentiment set or a Halloween set that Impression Obsession released recently that had this little sentiment in it. So, and then I just hand cut a couple of the fishtail banners um, there. So, 
And then this is on a black card and I haven't put anything on the inside yet. Eventually, when I get ready to send that card, um, I'll put a cream colored um, piece of paper on the inside to write on. Um, here's one that I made um, just really simply using an, a die from Impression Obsession. So I die cut a great big circle in the front of the card um, and then added this beautiful die cut from Impression Obsession. So super easy to make. Same with this card. I just die cut two circles like it was a moon um, and added the Impression Obsession Witch die cut there to the front. And I think she's adorable. She's one of my favorite dies. Um, here's another one that I made with Impression Obsession dies. This one is the Boo die, and then they have a set that has various different ghosts. Um, so I used one of them on this card, die cut out of silver cardstock, and I think he turned out real cute. So cards don't have to be complicated. <clears throat> I like to keep things pretty simple because just because I have to make so many cards. <laughs> Um, here's one that I made using one of my Critter dies. This is the Wirehaired Terrier die and then the Critter Costumes set that was recently released. Um, so you can dress up all different kinds of critters um, with different outfits and things like that for Halloween or like New Year's or any kind of like a masquerade type party. Um, and then this is one of my pumpkins from my recently released Halloween Shapes set. Hey boo. So I think that card turned out really cute. <clears throat> Um, here's another one that I made recently um, with IO products. In fact, I think the the remaining cards that I have to show you all the products were from Impression Obsession. So I don't have to mention that now. So Black Kitty and then just a couple of hand cut fishtail banners there. Um, here's another witch card and she is sitting on top of a um, crescent moon rosette that I made. So real cute and I love that she's die cut out of sparkly paper it gives her lots of pizzazz um, here's one with two creepy little monsters so I love these guys they were really easy to stamp because they're a solid image they were really easy to stamp and just black and die cut them out and they were ready to go and I just gave them some fun googly eyes so real easy and then here's another card um, that's made with just die cut shapes that I added googly eyes to for detail So, a um, couple more. Um, here's another one that I added some googly eyes to. So, just real simple. And then here's another one that I used uh, a couple die cut shapes and googly eyes for detail. So, these would be really fun to make with kids um, since they're so easy. You know, you just you're just adding a couple of googly, googly eyes to some die cut shapes and adhering them to a card. So, real easy. And then here I like um, the, <clears throat> the strips of paper added at a slight angle. I think it gives a little bit of visual interest. And let's see, I do have um, some Halloween tags to share with you as well. Um, before I do that though, let me share this Thanksgiving card before I forget it. Um, so here is a Thanksgiving card and it is made with this cute little gal um, carrying a pie. She could also be colored up like she's Mrs. Claus too, so I think she's really cute. And this image is from High Hopes Rubber Stamps. So, I thought that was cute. She is adorable. Um, now let me go ahead and share a bunch of tags with you. I, since I have so many tags for Halloween, I thought I would pull these into this video as well. Um, these were made with a tag set that I have for Impression Obsession where you can just change the color and it really easily ch um, changes for the holiday. So you could die cut these out of um, red and black and white or excuse me, red and white and have it be Santa with a big gold buckle. Um, here you can see that I've made a witch um, with purple cardstock and black accents. And then here's an, a different style for a witch. But you could also, if you die cut these out of browns and things like that, this would be really cute to be like a scarecrow as well. So really versatile die set, I think. Um, here's another one that I made using um, my uh, witch boots. Um, so she's got cute little stripy legs. And then I just folded up a piece of cardstock here uh, with accordion fold and um, inked it up a little bit and then made, that, made it like it's her skirt. Um, you could also use the Crescent Moon um, rosette die to do this. That'd be really cute. And then the end of her skirt would have a little moon cut in each of the points. And then I love this little um, spider web from Impression Obsession as well. Um, here's a tag that I made with a Sizzix 
die. Um, it's a big die, um, so it can cut through like the heavier chipboard. And then these are just a couple of chipboard pieces that I picked up at Target years ago in a big tub of uh, chipboard pieces. Um, but I just love this little skeleton, so he's fun to use at Halloween. And then I added a piece of paper here. So I got it slightly damp, and then I scrunched it all together, and then sh uh, wrapped it around my tag. And um, when I adhered this in place, then it's almost like a little band that holds that cardstock in place. Um, but if you want to do this, it's a little bit easier to do it if you actually get the paper just slightly damp, just mist it a little bit, and it just breaks down the paper fibers a little bit and allows you to work with it. And then once the paper dries again, it kind of holds its shape. Um, here's another tag that I made with some dies from Impression Obsession. I added some really cool um, spiderweb ribbon to the top of this one. So it's really cool looking. And again, I used that really fun spiderweb die and I used my coffee mug and then the fun skull and crossbones there from Impression Obsession. So I love that. Um, here are a couple little treat holders that I made. Um, this is uh, using a Sizzix die. I think it's called the brown bag die. Um, so you can see that it actually creates a little bag here. Um, and what I did is I colored up a couple of my whippersnapper um, Halloween images and adhered them to the little craft circle. Um, with the scalloped edging. Um, just added a sentiment with a button and some twine and I think these turned out really cute. And these would be really fun just to slip a little candy bar or even some pencils inside. So those are cute and fun. Um, here's one more tag that I made using a coffee mug. Um, and then again, here I love this spider web, so I use it a lot at Halloween. Um, so it adds a really pretty detail there. Cut out a silver cardstock, silver glitter cardstock. And then I glued a little rubber spider on there, so it's extra creepy. And then this bow up here is um, from Tim Holtz um, from a Sizzix die, and then I just double stacked it. So there's a, I think there's three different sizes in the die. So this is the medium size and the small size, and I just stacked the two of them together. So there's that. And the last thing I have to share with you was made using my Impression Obsession pencil box. Um, so it makes um, it makes the little box that you can hold four pencils in. And um, then you also get the pieces uh, to decorate the front of the box and the back of the box as well. Um, so I made these cute little boxes um, decorated with stamps from High Hopes. And then added four little Halloween pencils. So real cute. Um, and then here's how I package them up to give them away. I add in a little holiday eraser as well. Um, and then I just add them to these little pretzel. These are like pretzel treat bags. Um, so super cute. And then I, I just use a little clear sticker to seal the back. So that's those. So those are my shares for Halloween of what I have in my completed um, card stash. I will be sharing, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the Christmas and winter cards as well that I have in my stash, and I'll probably do that later this week. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and provides you some inspiration. Have a great night. Bye!